<laughs> okay, I'm climbing in here. Um, you won't be seeing me for most of this. This is incredibly low tech. Now, you already have this quote because I gave you an RTF of this. And this is very old school, incredibly old school. But uh, I think maybe you'll get the idea from it. So here is the quote. You, you want to read through that and think about it. Put it in your own words. Put it in your own words. Um, it's from Bertrand Russell. All right. So I'm going to run by you. I'm going to remove this because you have this. In theory, you have this already. And you've reviewed it and you've put it in your own words. So now, drum roll please. And there's Bertrand Russell who said it, right? Uh, now, I'm going to put up some of the parts of this. All right, so here is a signal phrase. It's a pretty bland one, isn't it? Wait a minute, I have to go get something. I'm going to be right back. All right. That is a pretty dull signal phrase. It's like the old standby, according to. But at least it's a signal phrase. We'll, we'll look at a better one a little bit later. So then, what comes next? Well, I've got all these little pieces. You see all these little pieces I have in my hand. I don't know what to do with them. A bunch of, a bunch of parts. So, now this is the best way I know of, of helping you understand how all this fits together. So this is an old school flannel board. So then, we put the comma. What's next? I hear you saying this. Then you put the quote, right? Now, because of the, the room here, uh, we've got to kind of put this on different lines because that's the only way we can. All right. Suppose we put in there as a paraphrase, and of course, you would imagine this to be right here, right? We don't really have room for it, but, but, but suppose we put this as a paraphrase. We didn't use the quotes. If we use the quotes, it would be the direct quote, right? But uh, let's say we said to our reader, hey, I, I put that quote that we were looking at into my own words, right? And there's, once again, there it is. Most people would rather die than think, in fact, they do so. Boy, that's pretty cynical there, Bertrand. Okay, so here is my supposed paraphrase. I've got a comma, and I would have a period. And then, of course, I would have my little... This would be inside the parentheses. My little parenthetical, because this came from a website. We're going to look at that in a moment. But this came from a website, so we don't have page numbers. And we'd have our little parentheses around that. And that would be our parenthetical. I'm going to move that just a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, this is a train wreck, isn't it? Uh, the world is full of neurotic people who refuse to think for themselves. That's not what it said in the first place. <laughs> it's really twisted. It's a misrepresentation. So it's not really plagiarism, but I thought I'd throw that up there because that is a blatant misrepresentation of what the quote really said. It didn't say anything about neurotic people. It didn't say anything about refuse. Well, in a way, alluded to uh, people refusing to think for themselves. But that's all good. That doesn't work. Let's get, oh my gosh, let's get that out of there. So that's gone. All right. Suppose then we did. Let's do, let's do this first. Let's get rid of that really bland, ordinary signal phrase. And... Let's look at a better one. This should be a lot better. British philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell once sarcastically quipped. He said, we didn't say said. How many ways that you can say said? And you don't always have to go with the according to. It is important to have a signal phrase because that helps distance you from whatever source it is you're using. Uh, 
and it, and it makes your paper flow. It makes it fluent. So that's that's your interaction in a way. So we don't have to say said. We can say quipped, averred, argued, uh, observed. We can go on and on with those. So could we do this? And of course, that would be after the comma. And you imagine it stretching that way. Most people would prefer to die instead of think, in fact, they'd, oh, 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 <laughs> oh, we can't get away with that. I mean, we look back at the original, uh, and just a couple of words are changed. That's, uh, that is, do you hear the sirens? Do you hear uh, the, uh, Absolutely. Do you hear the the, uh, uh, the police coming to arrest you for that? That is no doubt plagiarism, right? I mean, there's just no question about it. There's just a couple of words changed from the original. You can look at that original, and that that is not going to work. Oh, get rid of that. Okay, let's try this. Got my little period there. I got my, my parenthetical. And that one is, uh, I'll move it over just a little bit so you can see it. This is so low tech. Uh, most people would prefer death over thinking. In truth, they die before thinking. Ah, awfully close to the original, isn't it? What do you think? I'm going to say that's pretty marginal. That's That's not sufficiently... Remember, we talked about digested, internalized, and the language isn't really my own. Not quite enough. It's pretty borderline, but I'm going to say that's pretty darn close to plagiarizing. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. Now, could we get away with... This is too long, but I mean, could we get away with this? We just put, most people would rather die than think. In fact, they do so. No, we couldn't unless we did what? Unless we put quotes around it. Now, if we did that, well, there goes my quote. <laughs> if we did that, then yeah, okay, then it's a quote. It's not a paraphrase. But we can't indicate that it's a paraphrase and use the exact words. Okay. So, how about this? And of course, the uh, parenthetical, in, in case I didn't indicate that, it goes inside the period, the parenthetical does. Okay, so, uh, so here we have, to the majority of the populace, Death itself is preferable to reflection. The reality is that they do succumb first. And then we've got our, our little parenthetical. Again, parentheses around it. Our period. We've got our comma leading into it. We've got our signal. Oh, we did it. We actually, <laughs> we actually did it. We paraphrased it. We, paraphr we put it in our own words. That's what we need to be able to do. If we're going to be a part of the conversation, if we're going to have that kind of freedom that allows us to develop any paper, just about any time, any topic, even though maybe we ourselves are not uh, knowledgeable enough to develop that topic or that paper. Not just a research paper. Not just a research paper. Any paper in which the instructor will allow you to include other sources, right? And there it is. So we paraphrased. Look at that. We actually did that. Oh, man. So this big, long thing that I tried to put up there before, the top part of it is an example of the corresponding works cited entry. And uh, I've put it on your web page, on your Moodle page, all kinds of... Uh, citation engines. All you have to do is go put the information in there 
and click the right buttons like easy bib and the citation machine click the right buttons and it automatically gives you how to do both the parenthetical and the works cited citation uh, entry I should say Whew. okay wow no there's one more thing now I'm a thinker not just a quoter not just a paraphraser and I want to show that in my paper. Whose paper is it? I thought it was my paper. So if I turn it over to all these sources and simply step aside and get out of the way, as some instructors want me to do. I don't name names. I don't know who would want you to do that. In the name of objectivity, wait a minute. We are thinking beings. And we interact with these sources. It doesn't mean we're appointing ourselves as experts. It means we have minds and we use them. And we take control of the flow of the paper. Then it doesn't mean we're being biased. So, suppose we had a little bit of a follow-up on this. In other words, our own comment about the quote. So we're showing our style of writing in the signal phrase. And again, signal phrases are important. Uh, we're showing that we are part of the conversation by putting, in this case, the quote in our own words. And then we have a follow-up, a brief comment after the quote. See, you know what? We don't want to go for two or three paragraphs and have one citation. We don't want to avoid making sure that we put in parentheticals to give credit along the way, that we sprinkle them throughout. And really, if we've gone two paragraphs, with this huge chunk of information we got somewhere else, again, I have to ask, whose paper is this? It's somebody else's. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Surely it doesn't belong to you. Okay, so you, you interact. You intervene, if you want to put it that way. All right, and so I've got a little follow-up here. In light of how easily so many are duped by clever political spin doctors and disreputable news commentators, I'll let you fill in names. Uh, Russell's comment now appears more prophetic, predicting the future, than comic. And obviously, there's a little bit of sarcasm, a little uh, comedy in that. Uh, pretty tongue-in-cheek and pretty harsh. But uh, this, of course, uh, was written many, many years ago, and, and Russell has long since passed. And that's really... About all I have to say about that. That's it. That, hey, that's all. Okay, turn this thing off. Enough, enough, enough. I hope that helped you.